Hey guys, it's Time Tom Logan back with another video for you and today, as you probably know by the title, we're going to be looking at the Asus GTX 580. We'll look over the top. Uh, but we're not just going to be looking at one, we're going to be doing SLI. Now, I'm going to get straight in and show you the card up close in the light tent and then after that I'll give you a look at them on the test rig. Hi hey guys, just a quick video to show you the up close and personal of the Asus cards. It pretty much, they are, uh, there you, go, you can see they're shiny, you can see me with the camera, look. Anyway, they are, yeah, they're just uh, shiny reference heat sinks. They've got the uh, Asus voltage tweak BIOS. For, uh, better overclocking but obviously it is the standard cooler I'm not going to take these ones apart I have taken uh, GTX 580 apart in a previous video so if you go to my channel you can see a naked 580 video there but this is just literally a quick skim around so you can't say you've not seen it And obviously there's two of them, and as I've probably already said in the video, because I'm videoing this beforehand, but yeah, we're going to be doing SLI testing, but proper matching card SLI testing. But we don't need to be shown anymore, do we? Let's get on with the nitty gritty. Right then guys, there you can see them on the test rig. Uh, just in case uh, you found my videos for the first time, uh, my test bench is a Rampage 3 Extreme. I've currently got a 950 in there. Uh, the 6GB of Mushkin uh, Redline RAM is not technically out yet, but that's in there running at 2000 MHz. Uh, that's a Noctua NHD 14. Uh, I've got a Corsair power supply. And uh, yeah, that's the long and short of it, really. Obviously, you can see there the two Asus uh, GTX 580s running in SLI. And, yeah, there you go. For all the regulars, you know the test rig, you're just interested in the Asus cards. Right then, guys, uh, I am going to do some game footage in a separate video. I might nail Crisis on to the end of this so that you can see the difference between 580 single card versus SLI. Uh, I know a couple of other places online or on YouTube have done SLI already but uh, I, I beg, borrowed and st stole uh, to get two matching cards from Asus. They've both got a uh, um, voltage tweak which made a massive difference as well. Uh, this is going to be the chit chatty part of the review. The bit that uh, my subscribers like the fact that I'll sit here and I'll talk to you about stuff. Now <coughs> Amazingly, considering that the cards are technically uh, a reference design, and I will explain that reference design means that uh, it's the design specified by NVIDIA, the PCB layout, and basically the vendors like Asus, Zotac, like I did before, and MSI, and then, then make their PCBs and make the cards themselves. So, it's a reference design, but the Asus cards, or at least one Asus card, beat the Zotac that I did before, which I was quite surprised about. I was expecting it to be very, very similar. But anyway, single card uh, for um, the Asus was 30,062 3D marks. So straight out of the box, and that's with my 950 at 4 gigahertz, 200 times 20. Uh, overclocked, it got 33,337 3D marks. So the voltage tweak makes a massive difference because uh, with the Zotac we didn't even get to 31,000 at all and it was like 29,000 uh, in stock mode so it made a massive difference. Now the, the big numbers come out when we start talking SLI because uh, uh, SLI with stock cards was 44,297 um, and you can hear them there just running away now. 
but her overclocked SLI was 47,846 3D marks. Now something else I'd like to note, um, and I don't know whether this was uh, maybe a fault with the cooler on the Zotac, or I don't know, maybe it was the, the core on that one's a bit hotter, because you've always got to remember the silicon lottery, but these Asus cards are much cooler, much cooler, um, like up to 10 degrees difference at some points. So, yeah, it's a bit of a strain, it's something else I wasn't expecting, because the fans on the, the Asus don't even seem to ramp up, uh, they just stay like that pretty much the whole time. They go up a little bit, but not to an extent that you notice them. Um, when I was doing my uh, proper maxed out uh, overclocking test, I'd moved it up to 1.15 volts on the core. So I was running the fans at 100% just to keep stability, but that was just so I could get the numbers to show you what is possible. It's not something that I would expect you to run 24-7, but it's just one of those uh, things, do you know what I mean? We wanted to see what it could do. Uh, and uh, core wise, I got 950 on the core uh, and 2200 on the memory, so 4400 in total on the memory. Um, but 9, 950 on the core is brilliant. Uh, now, uh, it's difficult to kind of compare megahertz uh, on cores, you know, with other cars, but. With the uh, MSI Lightning, we managed to eke out um, 900 stable on that with the overvolt, and this is doing 950. Um, but obviously, it's like they are slightly different and everything like that. But it's just so that you know what we got before with the MSI Lightning, which technically was the best for, uh, 480 we ever touched. I uh, got 900, and these reference Asus 480s are already doing 950. Um, so maybe with uh, a bit of extra balls on the voltage, definitely going to need better cooling. Uh, maybe you might even be able to get away with it with water cooling, but you definitely need more voltage or cleaner power. Um, you never know, you may even get a big NVIDIA that does a thousand on the core soon. But obviously with the numbers that we were getting, you don't really, it's not going to be something that you're going to be able to run 24-7, but it's just... I know the way people think, it's like 4 gigahertz. if you can't get 4 gigahertz, you feel let down. People are thinking the same about 1000 core on graphics cards. As soon as someone makes a 2000 core graphics card that's actually pants to prove the points, it make my uh, life a lot easier. Um, but the long and short of it is, I have been immensely impressed. Um, even with the single card, uh, I was like 30,000 amazed, and it was quiet. Two cards getting like, do you know what I mean, 47,000 3D mark points. I was proper gobsmacked. Um, they're actually brilliant cards, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, just cracking brilliant. Uh, considering that these are like the first ones coming out, and they're going to be tweaking them, and adding this and working out that that works better. I'm absolutely amazed because I want them. And, and that didn't happen with the 480. I was quite happy to stay with 5870s. Uh, it didn't matter about the brand at that point in time. But yeah, I was quite happy to stay with 5870s. The 580s have converted me. And I wanted to hate them. I really did. Probably more because of uh, the way uh, NVIDIA marketing had happened and all that kind of stuff, but at the end of the day, the cards are much better, and I really do wish you guys had uh, sorted your shit out and brought these cards to the table when you gave us the uh, shambles, let's say, that was the 480. But let's not kind of like dwell on all this. 580s are epic, absolutely epic. Um, and to be quite honest with you, considering that Asus does both the uh, green team and the red team, um, the gauntlet has been well and truly laid down for the upcoming ATI cards, or AMD cards as we should be calling it now, and I am very, at the end of the day, the, the, the bar has been raised, 
and uh, if uh, AMD come back with cards that can compare with this then it's going to be an exciting time over the next few months. So the long short of it is absolutely bonkers cards, absolutely bonkers. Um, at the end of the day uh, just a clear out gold award for these because to be quite honest with you with that voltage tweak as well just it's like it, it's like opening big double doors into a, a room that gives you access to so much more power. Um, I would love to get a couple of these cards on water tested and I'm going to be getting on the blower to my good buddy at uh, Bits Power about trying to get some uh, water blocks sent over because I seriously want to get my 980 uh, and these and maybe even a few more to be quite honest with you and just go number hunting because I think I could quite happily lose a week at work and just literally go hunting for 3D Mark points. But we need to remember that uh, 3D Mark 2011 is coming out soon, so we're going to we're all going to have something completely different to look at and watch. And uh, I'm really not looking forward to the late nights of work when all that comes out. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up and uh, let me just uh, be completely unprofessional because that's what I do best. I have got some time. Basically, I'm going to nail um, Crisis on the end of this video for you, uh, and I'll run it completely maxed out because these walk it. Um, but I'll put Crisis at the end of this video, and then I'll make another video with lots of other gameplay for you just so that you can see the completely insane frames per second, and you can compare it with the zone tack from before. Uh, but I will do single card Addis and I. But anyway, I'm going to sign off so I can actually. Excuse me, put uh, crisis at the end of this video for you. Um, and this is with the gold award winning uh, Asus 580s out. Right then, guys, just a quick one just to show you uh, the settings advanced, everything's on enthusiast, graphics, everything's completely maxed out. Um, so, yeah, let's just get the uh, game loaded up. Right then lads and lassies, keep an eye on this top hand corner of the screen. As you can see we're on max and we're still getting over 60 frames a second. But I'm just going to uh, keep playing this. Uh, this obviously is uh, in SLI mode. Just drop down to 50 there. But we need to remember how high we've got all the settings on this. Is that helicopter? As we all know, I'm not the best person at this game, and I don't mind admitting it, but I'm only playing it to give you lot an idea at the frames per second uh, possible. I have been able to blow up that helicopter before. 
probably not an achievement for you lot, but I laughed my little ass off when I did it for the first time. But anyway, uh, we're running out of time, so I'm going to uh, trim this one off here.